Hey guys, Kev here, and I got a good one for you. This one is from Dylan Mallory. Let's get into it. If anybody knows, Dylan was working on the forest for a while. I met him at Blade Show in June. He had the prototype on him. They have shipped, and mine has delivered. Let's see if Dylan delivered. You like that? Um, we got penis. So that's the first thing I'll tell you right now. It comes with penis, which is good. Everybody likes a little penis with their knife. Bang. Number 47, it says. Right there. You got made in China and a cool box. I like this box. Mallory. Okay. Let's just get right into it, guys. All right. Mallory Designs Forest S35VN Marble Carbon Fiber 47 of 200 says M Miller 4 manufactured in China. I don't know what M Miller 4 is, but cool. Maybe that's the dude who checked it. I I don't know. Or maybe I'm misreading it. Looks like it says M Miller 4. I don't know. Whatever. Silica pouch and the knife. Oh, it looks good. Okay. I could care less about a COA. Here it is, guys. This is the Mallory Forest. Mallory Designs Forest. Uh, detent Lash. Eh, you know, it moves, but it ain't crazy. Doesn't shake. We're good. Dead Nuts. Dead nuts on centering. We got a slim profile, a hole for deployment, and guys, a titanium 3D milled clip. Very thin and slim design here. And it is a liner lock. So as a lefty, we're good. Let's give it the old college try, shall we? Okay. Ergonomics. Fits my hand like a glove right here. Fits my hand even better up here. Holy shit, Dylan. It is sharper than a friggin' razor blade. Holy cow, look at this stock. Guys, this is awesome. All right. Oh. What? Sick, sick, sick. What? Detent? Four days. No way. Yeah, that detent is absolutely dialed in. That's one of the things, man. I trust Artisan with a detent. This was made by Artisan Cutler. Look at that M pivot right there. Holy shit, this is awesome. See, this is why you got to wait for stuff, guys. It's worth it, you know? Let's feel for play and such. Oh, yeah, we got some blade play. I don't feel any lock right, but I feel that blade playing. Let's get the bit driver out. Probably gonna have to Loctite this bad boy, but it is a captured pivot. Let's see. Oh yeah, it had a little give in there. Are we still on center? Yep, we're still centered. Still flicking. And we're still dropping, baby. Oh yeah, I didn't check for play. Oh yeah, it's a rock now. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. And I could probably back off that a little bit. Man, that D10 is good. And it's just going to get better. I mean, I could go ahead and, you know, do the old take it apart, put in skiffs thing. Um, Artisan, I don't know if they use those little mini bearings that some people do. It does feel like it has the slightest bit of stick, but I can see some stuff on the lock bar. I might just need to clean it with alcohol. But yeah, man, this thing is uh, pretty much awesome. I mean, 185 bucks or 175, I think it was. I mean, absolutely fantastic in hand. Uh, yeah, I am impressed, guys. I am impressed with the knife. I wonder if I should just take it apart and throw the skiffies in, or whatever, and uh, let it lock tight that way, right? Just call it a day. Um, I had to tighten it anyway, so I know there's no lock tight in there, and I feel a little bit of stick, so like. You know what I mean? Might as well see what's going on. Man, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous knife, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get into it. Hang on one second, and we're going to hit the desktop.
Bye. All right, here we go, guys. Check it out. You want to see it up close and personal? There it is. Look at that gorgeous marbled carbon fiber. Dead nuts on centering. Let it be known that it was fine before I touched it. Here's the Mallory logo. Man, look at that carbon fiber. I wouldn't even call this marbled. I'd call this shred, wouldn't you? I don't care what it is. It's gorgeous. Look at that backspacer. And the action's pretty good as is, but you know what I mean? Can't leave well enough alone. Ah, crap. There's a bit driver out there. Just okay. Looks like one negative is it's T6 on body screws, which is pretty standard for um, a Chinese made knife these days. But I would have liked to have seen T8, but again, that stuff can be expensive or whatever. I don't know. And as long as it's tooled properly, T6 does work. We'll see. That comes right off. Yeah, look at that. We got good bearings in here. I don't know if we need to switch her out. I don't even oop, I don't even know if my five millimeters will fit. They do look like smaller balls though, which is interesting. That's what he said. Or she said. I don't know. Pick one. Oh, Jesus. Guys, I'm a maniac. We all know this. I'm trying to get these to fit in something, so let's just try that. Where's that rag? Here we go. Clean them up. Should be pretty quick. Considering. We do have a um, keyed pivot, it looks like. So that's good. Not a keyed pivot, a D shaped pivot, sorry. That's oil or what? Look at that. Polished? They polished it. Look at that. That's pretty nice of them to do. Here are the bearings that it came with. They're small balls. That's what makes me worry here. We might not be able to get our gillians in. I think we got the right size. I just think the balls are going to be... Too big, maybe. We'll see. So yeah, that's the inside of it. There's a little bit of uh, milling on this side. It's a very lightweight knife to begin with, so you don't really need to worry about that. Detent. I must just call this detent heavy. <laughs> mm, crazy, aren't I? I'm a crazy silly goose. Get that out of here. Give it a lock tight. All right, let's get to work. Think I got enough in there? All right, so we're gonna put this blade on. Put this guy on. Yeah, it might fit, we'll see. Then we gotta line this guy up, so it needs to be right about there. Everything in, this could be easy. Hmm. 
Could just be, well, I'm thinking it could just be the bearing size. Where's the pivot? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, there it is. I'm thinking the bearings are too big. They're not going to allow the... See how wide that is? I mean, it works, but like, does that seem right to you? <laughs> Seems a little thick. Like, I don't, it worries me that the stop pin might not be seated all the way. It just looks really wide in there, right? See that? I don't know if I want to. Oh, sorry. You can see the difference between the bearings. I mean, I'll show you in a second. Yeah, it's not going to work. So. Oh, whoa, look at that thin back sister. That's crazy. I love it. By the way, Dylan names all his knives after uh, dinosaurs, apparently, which is cool. So you can see here. Oh, Jesus fucking. I hate this new camera. Like, this. Yeah, it's funny how you get a new phone. It's supposed to be new, and it's actually worse, camera-wise, anyway. Just a thicker bearing, so. We're going to go with the stock ones. And they look good anyway. They just need to wear in. So it's fine. Hey, we got to see the inside and everything. No big deal. I had to Loctite it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Looks like they had some in there. Where's my air? This guy on. I mean, very easily constructed here. I mean, we're not having any issues. There, even better. Look at that. Get my lack tea. So, I'm going to tighten these guys carefully. I don't know what that sound was. God, I hate T6 with a passion. I swear this bit's like brand new, too. Anyway. No blade play that I can feel anyway. And it's pretty droppy, droppy McDropperson. Let me see if it tightens or loosens. Tighten a little more. No play at all. Got some lock stick. Oh, maybe that's why. Something in there. <laughs> there we go. It's not my favorite in terms of disengaging. I mean, it's good. It's going to get better. I mean, look at this. So I'm going to let it lock tight where it is because there's no play of any kind. And the action's amazing. Look at that. Dead centered. 
guys 175 bones for this guy um excellent detent i mean definitely on par with the detent let's cut something since this is basically our first impressions as well you got a feeling guys <laughs> i'll take this s35 any day over someone else's m390 guys dylan mallory Coming in with an absolute freaking home run, dude. Great job, my brother. It was worth the wait. Anybody out there still waiting? It's on the way. Dylan's slaving away, trying to get these to you. He apologized for all the delays. He's a first-time, you know, OEM type. This is his first project that he's doing on his own. He's going to be learning curves, guys. Look at this knife. That stone wash was a good choice, dude. I wanted the satin, but, dude freaking sweet 175 i knew i should have bought two i knew it but at least i got one your dopey ass didn't get one if you're watching this and you didn't get one <laughs> i'm just kidding but i told you i told everybody multiple times i don't know how these took so long to sell absolutely fantastic dylan great job dude uh i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day mine just got so much better oh god Guys, it's thin, it's slicey, but it has this, like, just sexy, sexy blade. It's kind of like a stretched out Evo a little bit, even though it's not bigger. I think it's about the same size. And, um, yeah, guys, wow. And for the price, that's just impressive. Anybody who complains about Liang Ma or Evos costing four, five, six, eight hundred dollars $800, like, here's a sort of budget version for you. It doesn't feel budget, um... You know, it's definitely not CKF Lian Ma quality, but man, is it up there. Uh, they nailed it on this at Artisan and uh, Mallory. Such a good design, dude. Man, am I excited. Cool knife, my brother. Love y'all. Peace.